Hey everybody, my name is Alex with Hake Hardware, and in this video we are going to run a locally hosted AI using Docker. Now this is super easy to do, and it's one of the main reasons why I love Docker. It makes stuff like this very quick and very easy. So we're just going to jump right into it. If you're not familiar with Docker, and we're actually going to be using Portainer, which is a graphical user interface for Docker. It's kind of like a front end. Uh, if you don't want to use the CLI, uh, I do have a article here for how to basically get Docker and Portainer installed. Again, it's really easy. You do not need a lot of knowledge on uh, either of these to follow this guide. So the first step, if you're going to be using a GPU, which is highly recommended, you want to install the Docker NVIDIA toolkit. And this is going to allow us to import our GPUs into our Docker containers and then utilize those resources. So it's just going to be a copy paste job where you take this command here and, you, and you're basically adding the sources for the NVIDIA container toolkit. Then you'll run a sudo apt update to update to the latest source. And then you will install the package with sudo apt. Um, you can, I actually you just do apt install dash y nvidia container toolkit so that'll get you all set up and then you just need to do one last command which is setting the nvidia runtime for docker so it's another just copy paste that in there and then you will restart docker so i already did this on my computer which is why i'm not going to show you how to do this but the rest of the the guide i'll i'll be doing on my system as we go through this so the container is pretty easy. Open Web UI is what we're going to be using, and it has Olama built in, which is really cool. So typically you'd have to deploy these things separately, and it would be a little bit extra work. It's still not difficult, but what's great is Open Web UI has this package for us so that we can deploy something that looks really good, like the website and the functionality is amazing and we can just download models and get uh, started with this in just a couple minutes. So what we're going to do is pop into Jack here, and this is Portainer, and stack files. So we're going to create a stack file. It's basically a Docker Compose. So we'll do add stack. I'm going to call this open-web UI. And then I am just going to copy this here and paste this in. And one thing to note, I've already downloaded the image, so it's gonna look really quick for me, but this is a 6.2 gigabyte file for this image. So when you click deploy, which is down here, deploy the stack, it has to download 6.2 gigabytes. So depending on your network connection, it could take a little while. Uh, so let's just run through this real quick. We're running the open web UI, but we're doing it with the tag for Olama. So we're going to be using both of these. We're setting the container name to open web UI. If you reboot your computer, it will uh, launch open web UI automatically. You can remove that if you want to be able to uh, just start it whenever you need it. This is going to be running locally on port 8080 or internally on 8080, but it's exposing port 3000 basically. So I'm on a Windows computer right now, and I'm deploying this on a Linux computer uh, that I have that I use as a server. And to navigate to OpenWebUI, I'm going to be putting in the IP address of that server and then port 3000. So uh, you can modify this, like let's say you already have something running on port 3000, you can modify this to you know, an, an unused port within the uh, applicable range. Then we're just deploying the GPU here. If you have more than one GPU, you could specify which GPUs you want to use. I have two 4090s, so I'm just going to specify all uh, for the count. Then we are setting up two volumes, one for Olama, one for Open Web UI. And then we're setting that runtime NVIDIA that we talked about before. And then this is where we specify our volumes that we're mounting inside our containers. So pretty straightforward, super easy. We are just going to click deploy the stack. And it's getting started up. So 
it does take a couple of seconds, not too long to get going. And then what we're going to be able to do is, um, so although I said the IP address, how I have it set up is like there's a DNS name or a DNS server entry for Jack. So um, instead of using the IP address, I can use jack.hhw.home. So we'll do jack.hhw.home port 3000, as you can see here. And let me just make this a little bit bigger. Um, so we need to, when we first uh, log in here, so this is hosted locally. So we need to sign in and it's not sending any data anywhere. We're setting up basically a local account. So we'll click sign up. And you can see Open Web UI does not make any external connections and your data stays securely locally hosted server. I'm just going to do um, make hardware. And I'll just do um, Alex at uh, and then we'll do a password here. I'm just going to use a simple one and then we'll do create account. And now we're good to go. So at this point, Open Web UI is set up. We've got our account here. We've got um, access to our settings where we can personalize a lot of this stuff. I'm not going to get too deep into this stuff. We're going to have another video where I go over some more advanced features. But if you go into admin settings, there's a model section because actually let's just go like, let's say if we start a new chat, you need to select a model, but we don't have any sort of model. Um, so we need to download a model to get started. And what we're going to do is just type in Olama. And since we're running Open Web UI and Olama, we can get our models directly from Olama. So we'll click the Models button here. And let's just get started with this Llama 3.2. So if we click into here, you can see there's a little like copy command here. We don't need to copy this whole command. We just need the part after run. And a lot of times there's different size models. So you could do a 1B or a 3B you will want to specify or you can get the specific command for the different ones by clicking it. So you can see now there's 1B at the end of this. And if I go back to 3B, it'll be 3B at the end of this. So you're always going to want to kind of just select the model that you want. Uh, for me, we'll do the 3B. So we'll copy this and then we'll go back into Open Web UI. You can just go straight to the admin panel, go to settings, models and then pull model from olama.com you're just going to paste that in there and click download and you're going to see this bar here starts to fill and what this is going to do is basically download the uh, model and then it will be accessible directly in our uh, ui here so let's just get one more uh, let's go back to models let's see another common one here Let's do latest. Okay, here's a like a code specific one. I want just the 1.5b. We'll grab that. And in the admin panel here, we'll wait for this one to download and then I'm going to add in the next one. So you can kind of see, uh, you can add as many models as you want. Just keep in mind that you have to have enough space on your hard drive to store them. And I don't think they're too big. I don't know if it says anywhere, like the actual physical size. Oh, here it is. So this one's 968 or 986 megabytes. Uh, so just keep in mind uh, that this, is, this has to actually be stored on your hard drive. Let's just throw another one in here and we'll click download. So it's, it's this easy to try out new models. So let's open up a, another web page here. And I'm just going to give it a refresh. Sometimes you have to refresh the page, but now we have the uh, Llama 3.2. And we can say, um, let's see, what are some common commands for Linux? And it takes a second here, but it does 
work really quick, especially with uh, 24090s. Some of the bigger models, there's like some, you know, 90 billion or 60 billion. I don't know if it's like billion. I guess that's what the B probably stands for. I think billion parameters. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot you can do here. Um, one thing, let's just show, um, just to show kind of how cool this is, we'll run NVTOP and that shows the GPU usage for here. And I'll do um, another command here. Let's do, hmm, sometimes I'm like, what do I even ask the AI? Uh, can you give me some video ideas for my YouTube channel? So we can see the GPU, like it's not really stressing it that much. There's there's a few models where it's really like pulling in like a larger model, uh, like a 20B or so stresses this a little bit more. I'm not going to do it in this video because it takes a while to download. Uh, but you can come in here and you can see, you know, we've got Olama running uh, using this uh, GPU. And you can just see these blips pop up whenever you ask it a question. So I always think that's cool. I always bring it up and watch it when I'm asking like more complex questions. Uh, but you can see it's really, really pretty cool. Um, and the information's great. Of course, like the larger the model, the better. But it, depending on your GPU, it'll run a little bit slower. I was using just one 4090 and it was doing pretty good on most of the like under 10B models were, were pretty decent, definitely usable. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, sometimes you do need a pretty large GPU to run some of the more advanced stuff. But what's cool about this is you have control over everything. So you can get some of like the uncensored models so that there's no bias and then you can kind of give it an alignment and set up some own parameters for personal use. Uh, so like if you just don't want maybe you have some, maybe you have kids and you want to set up some specific parameters so that uh, you know they're all, they only have access to certain things, you can definitely do that uh, and then have this run locally on your own uh, on your own servers and then that way you're really controlling kind of how AI gets used because you just never know uh, these days. So hopefully that was helpful. I'm going to have more videos on how to get everything set up uh, with some more advanced stuff. So you could actually include, uh, let's go into settings here. You can do like a web search. So you can integrate uh, like a search engine. You can uh, generate images. So none of this is set up. You're going to have to set it up uh, when you're using it. Oh, one other thing I did want to show. Let's go back to like the new chat or we'll jump into this one. So now we have, if I refresh, now we have both models. So you could say, um, let's do a new chat. You could select this model and you hit a plus and you could select that model and you just ask it, write me a simple Python program. And you can see both of them are running at basically the same time. So the llama one, I don't know if that's considered simple. It's quite a bit longer. I mean, it is, it's just rock, paper, scissors, but, um, and you can see they just did a hello world one over here. So you can actually run two models at the same time, which is pretty cool, but, uh, okay. So that's the last thing I wanted to show. Hopefully it was helpful. I will see you in the next one.